Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Very good. And how are Hi. you, Francisco? Hi, Julia. Hi, Mario. Hi, 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 Jose. Hi. Hi. How was Hi. your weekend? <clears throat> your long weekend? Very good. Very nice weekend. Good. And yesterday we went to, with my family to the cemetery park. Is correct yeah. to say cemetery park? Uh, only cemetery. Only cemetery. cemetery. Yeah. Okay, so we went with in uh, in a cemetery with my family. Okay. So was a very nice who, long who, weekend. Who did you go visit? My grandmother, my grandfather, and an uncle. Okay. Yes. Three people. Yes. And that was in San Salvador. Yeah, the tree was in San Salvador, yes. Okay, good. Yeah, because if we went to uh, another department or another city, I don't know for the COVID protocol. protocol. Right, yeah, yeah protocol. protocol. Mm -hmm. So it's better only we visit here in San Salvador. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, you know, we have to follow um, the instructions, you know, like uh, for prevention, you know, prevention yes. is much better than than a solution, you know, so. All right, good. Okay, uh, welcome back, Julia, Mario, Jose, and Rocio. All right, so what is today's date? Today's date is November 3rd. Yes. 2020. Exactly. November 3rd, 2020. Okay, so let's begin. Do you remember the activities we did on um, Thursday? Oh, no, I don't remember. Sorry. Um, okay. Jose, were you here on Thursday? I I didn't come Thursday. Ah, you were on vacation. Same case. I wasn't here. Okay, Julia, were you absent? Oh, you were absent. Yeah, I yeah, wasn't you, here. You, but you, I don't remember why, but I wasn't here. <laughs> okay, and Rocio, were you here on um on Thursday? Thursday? No, I didn't come. Okay, so everybody here was on vacation, my goodness. All right, anyways. No, okay. I, I, yeah. I was on Thursday, but I don't remember the activity, sorry. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. All right, so let's begin. Um, let's start talking about the different activities you guys did on the long weekend. Remember, when you're talking about the activities that you did, you are using the simple past tense, the past continuous, used to, would, so you use different structures. So let me assign, create room, and here we go. Talk about your weekend, your long weekend.
Cuéntame el teléfono. Claro. una trompeta tribilín con tu servidor sería otra historia Okay, that yeah, but I have an uncle that we buried there in the buried or he's resting. I don't know how to say it. Uh huh. Okay, but it's a very good place. And sorry for hear that from the he he passed away from the COVID nineteen. Thank you. Yes. I don't know if you have restrictions of time to be for, there. Like yes. Just only thirty minutes or something like that. No, no, uh, no, yes, no, re no restriction for this okay. for this cemetery mm -hmm. because it's it's very exclusive. Mm -hmm. Los los ilustres, did you say right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the same of La Bermeja? No, no, I'm, I'm not no, sure. No, no. I'm confused. It's like in front, it's near or near from the Bermeja. No, no, it's not. It's not in front. It's like uh, two kilometers. But in the same that street, that right? Yes, the same. Yeah, street. Street. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not sure about which is exactly when the the, the Bermejo of the in the Ilustres, but I know that they are located in the same street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, but uh, in ah, Oscar, how are you, Oscar? Oscar. Uh,
on the rivers okay. and damage the, the whole the whole houses. In another in another uh, road is a uh, los chorros because oh, yeah. when <laughs> had a lot of water the rocks mm -hmm. uh, had a many what to say the rooms uh, slides 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 a risk a very mm -hmm. yeah Yes, it's dangerous. No. But you have good news if the the level of the of the hurricane is 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 decreasing. Yes, but yeah. but in the only in in the country because the direction was changed. Uh, in the last notice mm -hmm. that the, um, the, the trajectory yeah. uh, changed to the, the Caribbean Ocean. Oh, really? Yes. Not to the Caribbean goes. Uh, uh, by, by the side uh, of the Guatemala. Guatemala. A, a, a few portion for Guatemala and a mm -hmm. more portion to uh, Honduras. Mm -hmm. But the the great degree that uh, mm -hmm. causes less effect than a hurricane four. Mm -hmm. Thanks God. Yes. This year was a very dangerous <laughs> year. Bad, bad year. Bad year. <laughs> Only events a different. <laughs> Yesterday, right. 2020 is not finished. Yes. Right. <laughs> I, I, I see a notice from Nicaragua. Yeah. And, and you can observe, uh, observe, a, observe. Lot, observe a lot of person without mask and without uh, social distance uh, uh, walking to the to the um, the how for for prevent a disaster mm -hmm. and I, I thinking oh my god mm -hmm. poor people they um, hey. escape from disaster uh -huh. and go to the coronavirus because the a lot of people in one place is very risk yeah okay. they can they can Country. catch the, uh, the disease mm -hmm. the disease yes yeah. All right, let's go. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So some of you guys visited cemeteries, some of you guys did not, but at the end, you know, like, I, I think that most of us here, we rested yesterday because it's a, a, a holiday but even though some people they <coughs> normal all right any questions or comments about terminology or pronunciation related with uh yesterday's holiday yes mario yeah. we discussed with julia and selena and oscar and how do you say enterrar in english is buried Very. or Barry. Barry. Yeah, Barry. Can you, can you spell that, please? Sure. It's B U R Y. B U R Y. Buried. But okay. is it correct to say he's buried? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's buried he's, in Los Ilustres. He's buried okay. in La Bermeja. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Right. So uh, the spelling is, is, is very different, but it's very similar to very. Oh, very good. Very nice. But you say very. So the, okay. the, the, the only difference is the initial sound. So you say we buried him three years okay. ago, five years ago. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Oh, no? all right. Oscar, you have a question? 
No, no, I just came late, but I'm oh. here. Okay, At good. least I'm here. I'm good, here. good. Good to see you. Uh -huh. All right, so let's uh, let's continue. Uh, in the platform, there is um, an exercise that is called "What Drives You Crazy." Is there anything that you find very annoying? Something that you hate? Like you can say, "Traffic jams drive me crazy." What drives you crazy? Nothing drives you crazy. Yeah, the traffic jam is drive me crazy, and the uh, the noise from the the noise from the mosquitoes at night. Yeah, <laughs> drives me crazy. <laughs> Do you use a fan when you go to sleep, Mario? No. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. But it's, it's offensive that sound that yes. that's loud. <laughs> Yeah, it's very My, annoying. They, yeah, very, very annoying. annoying. When you're sleeping and then you hear the the uh, exactly. Yes. I think it's very relaxing to hear that 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 sound of the of the fan. <laughs> really? Oh, the fan. Uh, yeah, it helps me to 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 sleep better. Hearing that sound of the fan. Yeah, you know, like yeah. right now I have a fan next to me. Um, you know, it's relaxing, and when you go to sleep, it's like a. a it motivates you to 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 sleep better, you know. Okay. Okay. Another teacher uses the sound of cats in, at night. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say, but the uh, the the sound is very annoying. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. The sounds of cats running, fighting. Uh yeah. And they're experts on doing it, like at one or two in the morning. Yeah. When everybody's sleeping. Yes, it's true. Okay. Anybody else? Something that annoys you? The noise when someone eats with their mouth open. Oh my God, <laughs> that drives me really crazy. <laughs> yes. Right. So. When someone, when someone is spill on you. <laughs> when someone? When it's, it's spill. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, when they spit on and you. They are talking. Right. And they are they are speaking. Uh-huh. Right. Yes. That is disgusting. Yeah. Anybody someone, else? Uh-huh. Yes, Rocio? When someone is hearing music in in a loud volume. Sound, okay. In a loud volume. With high volume. And and you are trying to concentrate. <laughs> okay. Yes. In, at at this at more, probably at oh, at work. <laughs> right. Yeah. When someone yeah. listens to music uh, at a high volume. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? What drives you crazy? What do you find annoying? When Real Madrid score at the last minute in a game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When they <laughs> score at the last minute, okay. Yes, annoys me. It's a, okay. It drives me crazy. All right, Nubia Raceli, what drives you crazy? Nubia Raceli, are you here? Uh, Norma Rivera, are you yes, here? Yes, I am. Okay, Nubia Raceli, what drives you crazy? I am. What drives you crazy? No, Yaraceli. Maybe she has connection problems. Okay, anybody I else? Hear my connection is bad. Oh, okay. It's rain in here. Where are you? What part of El Salvador? Uh, I live in Ilovasco. Oh, is it is it raining hard? Yes. Okay. okay. Is is uh what about the others? Is it Good raining man. where you are? No. No. No, no actually not no at the Monsignor, no. not at the no. airport. Okay. Just the wind. Okay, yeah, just the wind. Just the wind. Yeah. All right. Okay. Some the 
for me it's annoying when a person is driving. Uh huh. And and they in a in a highway they take a or a, they take the the left side and they are driving slow. <laughs> slow. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, totally. I it's agree really with that. It's annoying. Uh huh. Okay. It's annoying when someone takes my phone to, to check my message. Oh, that's very oh, annoying. Oh, oh, toxic boyfriend. That's, oh, yeah, man. that's very annoying. Annoying. Poor. Yeah. Poor of you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's that's why I'm always changing the password, you know? Like, I put a new password every day. No. <laughs> that's the way. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, just, just, just in case. Technique. Just in case. <laughs> I mean, if you want to sleep really well, that's what uh -huh. you gotta do. Like, change the password and, and you, you sleep like a baby. <laughs> if not, you're, you know, like you're, 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 you're sleeping one eye open, like, well, where's my cell phone? <laughs> so, anyways. All right. So, let me share some expressions that we use. Um, where is this document? Uh -huh. Goodness, I had it. Okay, right here. Okay, can, can you can you see my screen? Yes. Phrases yes. to talk about annoyance. Okay. Uh, may I have a volunteer to read these expressions? Okay, me teacher. Go ahead. Uh, drive someone crazy. Uh, drive someone up to the wall. Get on someone's nerve. Get under someone's skin. Get someone down. Get someone goat. Make someone mad. Make someone sick. And make someone's blood boil. All right, good. Any questions about those expressions? Yes, they are synonyms. The uh -huh. Yeah, they're synonyms. Uh, yeah, they're see. synonyms and they express uh, the same thing. Uh -huh. That someone is annoying you, someone is doing or saying something to get you upset. Okay. Try, try um, someone but, up the wall. Yeah. But, <laughs> mm -hmm. Try but, someone up the wall. But oh. they, are, they are level of... They are? <laughs> Are they level of making you crazy? <laughs> level, for example, some expression are uh, in a less level? Of... Oh, th these are idioms. Yeah. They are idioms. Okay. Yes. So that's why, you know, like in some cases, uh, remember that when you use idioms, you're using vocabulary that has nothing to do with the meaning of the of the of the expression, you know. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Any questions or comments about these expressions? Uh, the last one makes someone's blood boil. boil. What's yes. the meaning? Blood boil. Okay. Um, <laughs> hacer a alguien que le herba la sangre. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you were saying that write someone someone crazy and write someone up to the wall, it has the same meaning? Yes. Yeah. All of them have, they're like synonyms, you know, expressions that uh, people use to talk about annoyance. Someone, okay. Yes. Anything someone else? Goes. And get someone's goat. Uh-huh. Get What's someone's the goat. Exactly. The, the same, the same. Uh, do or say something to get someone annoyed. Get someone's goat. Yes. Okay. All right. Like checking the, the phone, the messages. Yeah. The, the calls. <laughs> yeah. The log, okay. the You're getting so. No, no, no. no. It's enough yeah. of it. Yeah. I mean, it, it shouldn't happen, you know. First place shouldn't happen okay. because that's how sometimes that's why problems begin. You know, like, hey, why are you checking my cell phone? You know, like they don't trust you. And, but anyways, 
All right, so I will assign you to work in pairs because the first activity you guys were working in groups because everybody was uh, incorporating. So I want you to use these expressions to talk about the different things that get you annoyed. Because if you ask me, Francisco, what gets you annoyed? I can mention 20 or, or 30 different things that I really don't like. So let me rooms recreate, recreate. Add a room. So I will send room eight. Move to room eight. And that's it. Let's do this. You hear me, Nubia? Hello, teacher. I'm alone. <laughs> We're alone. I have Oscar ah. here. I was alone too. Right. You know, when I was checking the program, I said, okay, uh, Oscar's uh -huh. partner was not able to connect. And then Julia was alone. I don't understand why, but that's why I moved you, Oscar. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay, All right. that's uh okay, casualty. That's a casualty. Yeah. Okay. In the pared. <clears throat> hello, hello. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. Are you guys speaking? Yes. Okay, because you sound quiet. Because <laughs> I was trying to, <laughs> to try to, trying to, to, to understand. understand. Okay, good. I'm not sure, but Francisco is coming here. Francisco, just, yes, sir. just a question. Yes. I think I heard that the all of them is the same meaning. Right. Okay. But we are talking with Elliot that the, the spelling is different or the writing is different. Right, right. But you, you can use in any situation when you are driving or... Yes, so. yes. Uh, now, get someone down. Um, for example, if I say, uh, okay, you can use my cell phone for five minutes. But after one minute, I tell you, look, uh, I need my cell phone back. That is an action that can make you feel bad. Make you feel bad. Not necessarily angry, but it will make you feel bad. Is when you are a little mad or you little bug? Um, well, the reasons can be, can be different, but you get someone down is because you have done or said something that is going to make the other person feel bad. Not necessarily angry, but a little bit sad. Yeah, 
Okay, when something is not going very well. Exactly, when something is not going very well, uh, people say things that make others feel down. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Uh -huh. Blood boiled. Yeah. <coughs> Is 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 usual sometimes in in the workplaces that yes. we find different kind of people that uh, used to talk. Hello. Is that correct to say to the the people talked to me in back or or tras de me behind my back. Behind my behind back. Behind my yes. back. Yeah. Behind so my when back. When people okay. are talking behind your back, that that's mm -hmm. a good reason that to, uh, to get someone uh, angry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Behind my back. So yeah, behind back. your back or behind. I mean, being crazy. This is is common for me, but for the rest, they they are new. Yes. Hear <clears throat> music with with a, a loud a high loud a high loud of song is it bothers me. Yes. Because, because go to, <laughs> to eat soon <laughs> i that get that drive me crazy <laughs> ah, really <laughs> because they they didn't come <laughs> yeah, as soon as possible they 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 came late very late after one hour probably <laughs> 
Me too. Yeah. You're talking about when they deliver the food? No, the, when when I prepare the food and, and they didn't come to to the table. Too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> right, right. That, that made me uh, up the wall. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, all right, welcome back. Uh, any questions about the expressions you guys were using? I don't have questions about the expressions, but uh -huh. I you know how do you say um, chillona. How do you say that in, in, in English? Like these voices like are so annoying, like, I don't know, chillonas. Now, how do you, you say? You, when you say chillona, um, you're talking about a, a, a crying voice, like someone that is... Not exactly crying, someone's crying. I, I mean, that kind of voices that are so annoying to hear. Um, <laughs> like a cepillin are, song. Like what? What do you say? Cepillin. <laughs> <It's squeaky. laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't Honestly, I don't, I, don't, I don't remember how to say that uh, a word either, Julia. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember how to say a yeah, squeaky, squeaky voice. Yeah, it's thank squeaky. you, Rocio. Yeah, squeaky. Yes. Okay, squeaky voice. Yeah, squeaky. <laughs> I heard that kind of voice at the morning, <laughs> especially when they are like criticizing someone, like make, right. making bullying. I hate that. Yeah. It's, it's squeaky. Yeah. Yeah, squeaky. Boys, thank you. Okay. All right. So um, now we're going to do a listening exercise. Um, it's 2.5. Let me see this here. Uh -huh. huh. Your share. Okay, let me know if you can hear. Um... If this is correct, say. Can you hear it? Yep. Okay. A, yes. B, listen to Gabriel using an automated phone menu. Is he successful? Check the best summary. Hello. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number, which is located in the upper right-hand corner in the pink shaded area. 04227-08837. I heard 04227 if this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Now say the phone number where you can be reached in case the pharmacist has a question. 555-333-5123. Five, 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 three, 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 five, three. I heard 555-333-5123. Five, 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 three, 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 five, one, two, three. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh, 
Nine? I'm sorry. I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry. I can't understand you. Nine. 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 I'm sorry. I can't understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. Goodbye. <sighs> okay. Who can summarize the audio? What is the audio about? Anybody? Uh, for me, it's a little B. He can fill his prescription because the machine can't recognize what he's saying. So okay. he's trying to, to talk about the prescription from the pharmacy and, and they, the, the machine uh, can recognize the, the voice because he said nine. Uh, I don't know, was uh, confused because nine is nine. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. It's it, number it, nine. Yeah, uh -huh, it's, it's number similar, nine. Similar to the platform, like, look, but this is the correct answer. Uh, yes, it's the same. Uh, this annoys me. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically what happened, you know, like, uh, so what, what happened at the end? Is it A, B, or C? For me, it's little B. It's little B. Okay. Yes, it's little B. Okay, he can feel his prescription because the machine can recognize what he's saying. And his pronunciation is clear too. He was a nine. Yes, nine, nine. nine. So, mm -hmm. but you know, that's that's part of, you know, when technology plays a, a kind of bad with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And let's hear the second one. Here we go. The same as the platform exercise. It drives me crazy. It, yes. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Spin again. Answer the questions. Hello, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say. Oh, it's, it's the same one. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we go here. But I have a problem with the answers. Uh -huh. Because if you if you listen or do you say the first the first questions what's the name of the the of the store of the store uh -huh. I I don't I don't know the name of the store he said the pharmacy. pharmacy but the name of the pharmacy they I can't understand very well dairy I mean, okay. dairy pharmacy something like something that. like dial up uh... Pharmacy service. Uh -huh. Right. But, uh, yes. I, I don't remember the name either, honestly. So, it's, but it's, in the in, in the platform, how can you how can we answer pharmacies. that? You you have to listen to it again. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me find this here. Loading. Okay, can you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay, what is the name? Simple, simple, indirect, indirect questions. questions. Okay, now do you remember the differences between uh, direct and indirect questions? Okay, let, let, let me give you an example. Um, 
if I say, what time is it? That is direct question. Hmm. If I said, can you please tell me what time it is? That is indirect. So indirect question makes reference when you are adding something else to the question. So do you mind, can you please, uh, do you happen to know when you add something else that is considered to be an indirect question? So um, will you help me? Is that direct or indirect? Direct. Direct. Question. direct. <laughs> right. Now, if you want to transfer that direct question to the indirect form, um, you can use some of these expressions. I would like wonder, to know if you help me. Okay. I would like mm -hmm. to know. I can't understand. I would like to know. And here you have this space right here where you can uh, add, like, I would like to know if you will help me. I would like to know whether you will help me or not. I would like to know if, or I would like to know whether you will help me. So uh, this is um, a topic that you will find in the platform and they will ask you things related to direct and indirect um, questions. Um, any questions here so far? No. So if I say, where is your brother? That is a direct question. Yes. How will you transfer yeah. that question to the indirect form? I wonder where is your brother? Okay, mm -hmm. I am wondering or I wonder where your brother is. If, if, yes. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. Remember that when you're saying the, the indirect question forms, um, the verb to be goes at the end. Where are my keys? I need the keys to open the door. Where are my keys? That is a direct question. How will you transfer it to the indirect form? I'd like to know where my keys are. Exactly. I would like to know where my keys are. Yes. So that is a, a, a very common way to, to express these things. So any questions here so far? No? No. All right, so let me recreate these rooms uh, for the last time so you guys can paraphrase uh, this information here. So move to room seven. And that's it. Shh. 
can say, I would like to know what is the, what is the hospital? This, um, what, what? Okay, yes, it's good example. Yes, uh, other, other example? For, for example, if you are looking for a document in your, in your office, uh, you can say, I, I, like, I like to know what is my, my paperwork is, and somebody can say you, uh, if somebody knows where, where it is, somebody can, can, can help you. Okay. But, but if use is, is different, is, uh, if it's in a indirect question, no, in a direct question, if you say, say to somebody, uh, excuse me, would, uh, would, would you help me? Do you is, this, ask? is this direct question? This is direct question, but indirect question, I like to know uh, what is the paperwork is. Ah, okay, thanks. Because it's a general question. All right, all right. Um, any questions or comments about today's class? I guess not. Not yet. All right. So thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You have a good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye